Greetings and welcome to the introduction to physical science. In this lecture, we are going to introduce the concept of electromagnetic waves, which is what we will be looking at in this unit. So we want to try to get a little bit of an understanding of what these are and how they're produced. And basically an electromagnetic wave is a form of light. Now we're used to visible light, but electromagnetic waves can be any form of light as we'll look at in another lecture when we talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of information on electromagnetic waves. And they are defined from Maxwell's equations and Maxwell's equations. What they really show us is that electric and magnetic forces are just different manifestations of the same thing. So this is one of the first unified theories of, of some of the basic forces of nature. So we're still looking for ones that actually incorporate all of the forces of nature, including gravity, which so far has been an elusive thing. However, this early on, electric and magnetic forces are really the same and just different ways of manifesting them themselves. And what this means is that we can see and that a changing magnetic field produces an electric field and changing electric fields will produce magnetic fields. And we already looked at uh, previously how magnetic fields could be produced by a electrical current running around a uh, iron object. So you could run that around and you could generate a very strong electromagnet from that. Now, what is predicted one of the things that it predicted electromagnetic waves specifically would move at the speed of light and we call the speed of light C and it is equal to about 300,000 kilometers per second. And that is one of the predictions of this is that that these will all move at the same rate. So all electromagnetic waves move then at the same rate of this speed 300,000 kilometers per second. And that applies to visible light that we're used to talking about when we talk about the speed of light. And in fact, light is just one example of these. But we'll also look at other types such as radio waves, ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma rays, that are also just other forms of electromagnetic radiation. Now, Maxwell's equations tell us several things when we look at the equations. First one it tells us that electric fields originate on positive charges and end on negative charges. So it tells us about the direction of the electric fields. Next, we learn that magnetic fields are continuous. They have no beginning or end. So magnetic monopoles do not exist. To the best of our knowledge, we have never been able to detect any kind of magnetic monopole. In other words, just a north or just a south pole. When we looked at magnets, we talked about how magnets, even if you cut them, will always still have a north and a south pole. Third, we see that a changing magnetic field produces an electric field. And the converse is true as well. A changing electric field will produce a magnetic field. And then finally, magnetic fields can be generated by moving charges or changing electric fields. So moving charges is another way that we can generate these magnetic fields. Now let's take a look a little more in depth at this. And what we want to see is, you know, how do we produce electromagnetic waves? And let's start by thinking about a current traveling in a long straight wire. So we have our wire here traveling through. And this is an AC alternating current, meaning that it constantly alternates in direction. So an electric field will be produced by the charge in the wire. So the charges in here as they move through the wire produce an electric field going along with the wire. And we can see that as we move outward, we will get variations in that will we'll, we'll rise and then fall. So over time, we would get a kind of sinusoidal wave where it would drop down reach a minimum and then go back up and continue this process as you move away from the wire. So we are generating an electric field because of the moving charges. So that's as everything moves that will actually propagate outward. And then what will happen to the magnetic field? Well, 
what we'll see with the magnetic field is that the magnetic field is being produced that is perpendicular to this. So remember how the electric field went the electric field went up and down parallel to the wire. This goes perpendicular but a magnetic field will be induced as well. So a current moving through there produces an electric field and that changing electric field produces then a magnetic field. And we know that the electric and magnetic fields are always perpendicular to each other. So electric field going along the direction of the wire and the magnetic field being perpendicular to this at 90 degrees away. So that moving current creates both a magnetic and an electrical field that are going to lead us into the idea of electromagnetic waves. And that's what we see here. When we put these two together as things move away from that wire, we have an electric field in the blue going up and down parallel to the wire. And we have perpendicular to that in the red here, we have the magnetic field moving along as well. So that wire is then producing an electromagnetic wave. And the waves propagate out in all directions. And this can happen from a couple of different things. So from this we are we are producing it, but we can also produce electromagnetic radiation through accelerating charges. And remember, from way back, acceleration can mean speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction. So as things change direction, uh, such as in an alternating current, even if they're not speeding up or slowing down, just changing direction, if they're moving in a curved path, for example, will also produce electromagnetic radiation. So antennae produce uh, standing waves from radio and TV broadcasts. So you can broadcast out a standing wave through a wire, uh, something a little more complicated than this, but you can send that signal out. And then another antenna is able to detect that and then decode it into a radio or TV broadcast that can then be detected. So let's go ahead and finish up uh, our little bit of uh, study on electromagnetic waves here introducing electromagnetic waves and in our summary what we talked about was Maxwell's equations which showed that the magnetic and electric forces are really different manifestations of the same thing. We're going to start one of the origins of the unified theories and electromagnetic waves are produced in a couple different ways as charges move such as the current in a wire but they can also be produced by accelerating charges around. So even moving in a wire or accelerating by changing direction can cause them to produce these electromagnetic waves. Now the ones in a wire are not going to be visible light as we'll talk about next time. They would be a very long wavelengths of radio waves that would most likely be produced first. So that concludes this lecture on electromagnetic waves. We'll be back again next time for another topic in physical science. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.